I guess they don't like you. <laughs> you ever get tired of hearing that when you, uh, never, when you never, walk ever. out? Not at all. Yeah, thanks for coming tonight. Thanks for having me again. Do, do the laugh for me. When you no, get tickled, man. do the laugh. <laughs> I'll laugh before we finish. So no, but they can do it. Why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. <ain't> <laughs> what were you doing 10 years ago this year? You remember? Uh, was, 10 years ago. Uh, stealing somebody's bike. <laughs> <laughs> More than like. Do you remember? Yeah, I'm 26, 16. Yeah, 16 we were going over into Merrick and steal bikes. <laughs> remember, Clint? Yeah. And they caught us, and they jumped Woody Miller's mom when she came to get us. Because <laughs> 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 they came, because they had us beating us up, and their mother came and said, let my son go in. And, and they took a shot at the mother? But it wasn't Woody. It was somebody's, mo somebody's mother got beat down in Merrick. I don't know who it was. Uh, did you bring a gang with you here tonight? I brought what? my friends with what, me. Uh, what's the statute of limitations on I think you're over it anyway. Huh? It's only 16, 10 years from now. I don't think they can prosecute you. But you wouldn't recommend that kids go around go on bicycles. Bike. Nah, we, it was just, we didn't have no bikes, so we stole some. <laughs> well, well, I can't think of a better reason. Hey, man, he's got a bike. Let's take it. Uh, did you ever think in your wildest dreams, Eddie Murphy, 16 years ago, bike thief would be where you are today? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, well, you must have had some thoughts. I mean, you, you obviously you like to entertain, and then Saturday Night Live came along, and, you, you know, people dream about big things happening, but did you think it'd be this big? I, um, I don't know. I guess you don't think... When you're stealing a bike, you just think, get this bike and leave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't work on the chain going, you know, maybe one day I might be on the Tonight Show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're skipping the bike? Or... <laughs> oh, you... Okay. So all you young bike boosters out there watching tonight, remember, no, don't. <laughs> you can have the guys in the backseat of police cars going, I'm gonna be a star one day! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, do you have a happy childhood growing up? Do you have very a fun, happy, fun time? Very happy, very, very normal childhood. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if I asked you this. Do you have brothers and sisters, or? I got two brothers, big yeah. brother and little brother. Vernon and Charlie, are they here? Somewhere. Yeah, Vernon and Charlie over here. There you go, Vernon. My little brother's boxing. He's gonna be a boxer. Is he any good? He's bad. He be bad, bad dude. Mm. Yeah. yeah, bad. Yeah, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Uh, what do you say? Support him or? Uh, well, I guess you manage him or anything like that. No, man. My 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 father's training him with. Uh, my father used to box, perfect, be a professional I didn't boxer. Know that. Yeah. That's a tough way to make a living. That's a tough way to be disciplined too when you're young. <laughs> Did your dad was here. Girl, you stole a bike yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you, uh, you you keep in touch with your old friends. Oh, a lot they, of people they're all here. A lot of people you. don't. I've seen I've seen people as soon as they hit it big, all of a sudden somebody will call and say, "Man, I don't know you from you know nowhere." They just disappear. Oh no, man! My all my buddies from high school are with me still. Like the guys I hung out with in high school and junior high school are around me every. Because I guess it's hard to meet new people and be... Because everybody's your yeah. friend as soon as they meet you. Now. I got sure. all my old buddies with me, still. Can you tell the difference when people come up to you? It is difficult when you're in the public eye. We all face that. Whether people want to meet you because they want something or they just generally like you, you, you get a little distancing sometimes, don't you, from people? Because you don't know what they're hitting on you for. Just I, to be your friend or whether they... Uh... I've, I've been pretty fortunate in that um, I haven't come in contact with too much of that. Yeah. You know, I've been fortunate. But are you pretty much of a loner when you're... What do you do when you're oh, not there? No, I'm not a loner at all. I got... I'm telling you, I got my... All my... All my... We walk into place today. You just saw the people in the back. Who are all these Negroes coming in? <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting... What's interesting... That was Floyd the Shoeshine Man who said that. <laughs> <laughs> you met Floyd down here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta steal that laugh. It's infectious. You always laugh that way when you get yep. tickled? Yep, that's my laugh. Yeah, it comes out. So Beverly Hills Cop just opened the other... Just Last open. night. Y'all gotta go see this movie. This is a, It's funny in the first one. Yeah, what they say. <laughs> and the dude, the dude that does the L.A., the, the, uh, Gary Franklin, he gave it to... I want to reach in the TV and slap that man in his mouth. <laughs> Good, good movie. old, good old He's Jerry good, Franklin. He, yeah, Gary, Gary Frank is a good oh. movie. He's like, oh, it's terrible. I want, you know, I don't, a lot of actors say like they don't mind when critics give them bad reviews. I want to 
punch the critic in the eye if they say something. <laughs> It and it's, it's a good movie. It's a fun yeah. movie, and we've been getting pretty much good reviews. This one guy, I wanted to kick his nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good picture. Why don't you? Why don't you go steal his bike? <laughs> That'll teach him. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Of course, with Eddie Murphy. I ask you what you were doing 16 years ago. Do you remember your first appearance on this show? Yeah. I guess it was just after you January started. January 1st, 1982. You're kidding. That was when you were doing Saturday night, right? Yeah. Why, well, y'all got a clip? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the first show. I remember that. Yeah, I was petrified, man. Yeah. I was petrified. You, uh, your and video. you was there, right? and you was there. Oh, yeah. We both, <laughs> we both showed up that night. Yeah. Uh, you did a video, successful? Music video? We did a, a whole album that yeah. was pretty successful. Yeah, about two years ago. We're working on another album now. Do you like the way it came out, the way you sing? Um, my album could have been much better, uh, yeah. but it came out okay. This next album is going to be live. I think everybody that does an album says, ooh, the next one is going to drive you crazy. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one is, uh, I'm get a, getting a little bit more involved with it. Yeah. You know? Now, you've made, uh, I hate to be, uh, you know, bring up things like this, but you're, you're making a ton of money. And not, as much, not as much as you. Well, I don't own it. <laughs> <laughs> but you have never been married. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta spread a little of that around to keep people happy, you see. But, and you should. I mean, if you bring money in at the box office, I've never... It doesn't bother me that people get big salaries in the business if they bring people into the box office. You're entitled. But it's changed your life, obviously. Now, you, you, you go out and really go nuts with it, or do you put it away, or how do you handle the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't do need I, a bike, so, I, you know. I, do I go out and go nuts with it? Uh, well, some people do. They I go crazy. I think it's healthy to go crazy sometimes, you know, but uh, uh, for the most part, I'm a pretty... I think I'm... I'm conservative. I, I don't live above my means at all. Yeah. You know, I have well, fun. Well, it's tough to live above your means. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got a lot of means there. <laughs> but I, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you go, have, you see I something, you walk down the street and you look in the store when you say, man, look at that. I, and you can just walk in off the street and say, yeah, I want that. That yeah, I do that sometimes. That's a good. That's a good. That's one of the good things that comes out of. Now, what would catch your eye in a window if you're walking down the street? Uh, I don't know. A That's a weird question. watch, a, a coat, a... <laughs> <laughs> what? what do you like? What catches your eye? Yeah, yeah. that's right. I don't know. Hey, look at that shiny ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Amos, get a load of that coat. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't saying the first coat. <laughs> Mm, that's a mighty big watch now. <laughs> now. I remember the first time I had some money, I went in and bought an expen a very expensive wristwatch, which is kind of silly because you lose them all the time. But I wanted to have that because I'd seen people have those big, great watches and you go in and buy them. I like, I'm a watch freak. Are I like you a watch freak? Yeah, I like watches. Uh, but I don't know. I, I think I've passed that stage of uh, things. I don't go out and shop that much anymore. It's yeah. pretty much a... Do you, have a do you have a steady lady friend? Not really. Well, you're, you're young, it's, I mean... I have a friend, you know, not, you know... Yeah? It's just, you know, it's not like... No, I, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, a friend in a platonic no, the, relationship? No, you asked that. It's like, uh, I know it's a bunch of ladies I know that did like this when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> he might mention my... I'm gonna see what he gonna say. <laughs> That's why I asked you. I can see my... He's talking about me. Yeah. Right? Okay, we'll get off the first. And then right, later on this week, I'm going, baby, you so special. You, go, you ain't think so on the Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> what, you forgot my special name that night? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're young. Baby, you know you know you're special. That's right. <laughs> I don't have to say your name, because you know it's you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that covers a lot of... Oh. That 
covers on next month's action pretty well, doesn't it? I mean, got a blanket endorsement there. Uh, look, we got a film clip, do we not, from uh, from Beverly Hills Cop 2? Uh, I, have, I haven't seen it, so do you know what, what we're going to see in this clip? There's a, it's a scene where uh, the, in, the inspector, the new inspector in Beverly Hills, comes and catches me in the office going doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. He doesn't know who I am, so I have to make up a character real quick to get out of the room, and it's pretty okay. funny. Watch the monitor from Beverly Hills Cop, too. These are shell casings left over from the first robbery at Adriano's. These are 44 Automax. They don't even make these anymore. They're too expensive. Shh. Put this stuff away. Who's this? I got it. I got it. Let's. All right, showtime. What the hell's going on here? Who the hell are you? Uh, Chief, this is... Shut up, Rosewood! Uh, my name is Johnny Wish Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone, and I'm a psychic from the island of St. Croix. Yes, I'm a psychic from the island of St. Croix, and I read in the St. Croix Gazette that the Beverly Hills Police Department had some trouble figuring out crimes. So what I did was come to Beverly Hills to help the police out. They tell me they don't want my help, they don't need my help, so I'm gonna go on my merry way. I'm a psychic. I'm a psychic phenomenon. Watch this. I don't know who you are, but watch this. Um, your name is, um... Lutz, right? Chief Lutz, that's your name, see? The name pop inside my head like that. And your name is, um, um... Biddle? Biddle, yes, yeah, see? And you give two more seconds, I would say to myself, I don't need no help from no one because I'm Johnny Wishbone, psychic extraordinaire. If you need me, just think Johnny Wishbone and I come running. Lutz and Biddle, it's like kibbles and bits, but... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry to bother me. What the hell is going on? What is this? Is Thank you. That's a funny clip. That nice. was one. That's an okay clip for me. I'm telling you, the movie moves. There's no. Yeah, that's just an okay clip. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay clip. The movie is. I'm telling you, the movie is live. Yeah. yeah. Who else on the show tonight? Well, uh, who we got? We have a, a lady by the name of Ellen DeGeneres, a comedian. Jane Leaves. I can stay, right? Because I, I know a lot of entertainers come in and after they do their thing, they're going, well, John, I have things, other engagements, and that crap. I can stay. You don't have anything to do? Yeah. Well, stay. That's a good call. Uh, well, you know, Johnny, uh, I'm on the it's set very nice to be here, but I got a plane to catch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on the set at six. Yeah, I must right. leave tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang out. Hang out. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back. You know, really? Yeah. Is it tough to meet guys here in Los Angeles? Um. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Eddie? You have uh, no, is it? It is, yes. And I, I have specifics. You know, I look for. I, oh, I, a sense quality? of humor. Sense of humor. Sense of humor. That's yes. Good. Um... <laughs> Eddie is casing you, as he said. Sense of humor is important. Sense of humor. Oh yeah. A maturity. You know, I like um, intelligent men. Do you like? <laughs> do you like afros? <laughs> Very important, yes. yeah. Well, so have you been a, uh, have you found a man that uh, embodies all of those qualities yet? No, I haven't. No, oh. I'm still well, that's looking. Tough. That's really I have tough. lots of boyfriends though, but nobody, you know. But no man. No man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Eddie, good luck on the movie. Thank you for being here.